For one day it was possible to see the original Nuremberg laws at the Auschwitz-Birkenau State Museum. On the 15th of September, the anniversary of the promulgation of the laws during the 1935 Nazi Party Congress, an exhibition titled Racist Madness, the 1935 Nuremberg Laws, prepared by the Reichspartags Gelände Documentation Center in Nuremberg, opened in the temporary exhibition space in block number 12. In the development um, of the Holocaust, these documents are the only ones um, which carry uh, the signature of Hitler himself. Uh, all other um, orders um, or laws um, were signed or issued um, by, by other persons. For the very first time, um, one of the main sources uh, for what happened um, until the end of the, um, the Holocaust, until the end of the Second World War, um, and um, the, the place where the most well-known place, uh, the, the synonym, the metaphor um, for, for the Holocaust, this, it is Auschwitz, are linked together for a, really, I think, for a historical moment. The exhibition uh, shows um, the development of the Nuremberg Laws because um, what uh, most people do not know that following the proclamation of the Nuremberg Laws, um, who just contain four small pages, um, some 13 additional um, laws were issued until the year 1943. Now this is very remarkable because um, if you remember that the, the gas chambers and the crematoriums uh, were working at um, mo most um, effectiveness, um, there were bureaucrats and juridical persons uh, still uh, uh, squeezing their minds uh, for further uh, measurements against the Jews. There were many, many single steps developed uh, which led to the consequences of this place where we are standing right now. The exhibition will be opened until October the 15th at the Auschwitz-Birkenau State Museum in Oświęcim.